thing. My mother says I need the most financial advice for your money now. Finding money in your jacket pocket or getting an unexpected check in the mail is always great. But wouldn't it be great if we could find money everywhere we looked? CBS World financial expert Andy Manley joins us now to talk about all the places where we might be able to find a little cash in our daily financial life. Andy, glad to have you here as always here. How uh, much money are we talking about here each month? You know, you can easily get to about $250 a month, and for some people, it might even be $1,000 a month. Wow. All right. So we'll start with the easiest places here first. Where's the best place to look for that extra money? Well, almost everyone has car insurance and then maybe renters or homeowners insurance, so you should always look at that every year. And not only just shopping the current coverage you have, but look and see if you can make some adjustments, maybe hire deductibles or get rid of some of the coverages you have and you can save a lot of money by doing this especially shopping and making sure you're still getting the best deal okay what about some not so obvious ways then well a lot of people forget about all of their accounts and services they have from their financial institutions so you should review that all the time make sure you're not paying for something you don't need anymore or maybe you don't have the best rewards credit card so you should make sure you get signed up for that and then look at all of your loans and people sometimes think you only refinance your mortgage loan but you should look at your car loans your signature loans and if you carry any debt on credit cards you might be able to save some money there too okay well what type of behavior change then can uh, net positive cash flow i know this is going to sound really simple but it's you know not buying everything from one place you know during the pandemic a lot of people have become accustomed to just ordering everything online from one place. But we need to start thinking about making sure we're always looking for the best deal. Couple that with when, you know, before you buy something, especially when it comes to food, eating out of your pantry and your fridge first, use some coupons and discount cards. This is where you can really get a lot of money each, each week even. Yeah, love those coupes. Uh, are there any other monthly expenses that we should be considered for reduction here? Yeah, one of the things you want to do is look at everything that you have charged to your credit card or your bank account. We all have streaming services and we have our mobile phone plans and maybe our internet and cable and things like that. We may be paying for things that we're not using anymore. You know, we signed up for this streaming service to binge watch a show and we intended to cancel it and we forgot about it. So always look at all of those things. And if you do this along with everything else we've talked about, you could talk about a lot of really good money you can save every month, every day in the everyday things that you do. Yeah, that's a big one there. I, there's a couple streaming services I have handy that I should probably be letting loose. Just can't bring myself to do it just yet, but maybe I'll wise up one day. Appreciate <laughs> having you always, brother. We'll see you again next week. Sounds great, Nick.